Okay, we're back live here at HP Discover in Frankfurt, Germany. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE.com. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm here with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org. Hello, everybody. It's really a pleasure to be here with Bill Philbin, who's the Vice President of Virtual Storage for HP. Welcome to theCUBE. Well, thank you. Hey, how come it took so long for storage to get virtual? Well, actually storage has been virtualized for years, right? So you look at uh, sort of EVA, you look at sort of the products we've been shipping for years, it's actually actually been virtual. So I think storage was virtual before virtual was cool. Yeah, so okay, so now everybody's that. talking about it. Yeah, right? exactly you right. You guys have been doing it for what, <laughs> eight years, 10 years? <laughs> exactly <laughs> right, yeah. So um, your role, we're talking off camera, is pretty much uh, the entire portfolio with the exception of uh, the EV, uh, the uh, three-part piece, right? That's right, so you know that we have you know, four lead-with uh, products in the portfolio, you know, three-part being one, um, and then uh, store all, uh, large for large and structured data, store once, our backup appliance, and store virtual, which is our scalable iSCSI storage, along with what we announced here at the show, which is how that applies to software-defined data centers is part of my uh, portfolio. Yeah, we've been talking about this software-defined concept quite a bit. Um, we actually had uh, Bethany Mayer on mm -hmm. at HP Discover, and she was talking a lot about software-defined networking. Right. So you guys have been on that trend, and then of course, right. VMware buys NICERA, and yeah. then all of a sudden, that became you know, the real marketing message out of VMware right. uh, last year. So you kind of beat them to the punch, but Talk about what software defined means to you. We call it at Wikibon software-led mm -hmm. infrastructure. We just did a, a big report on that, probably the first, I think, in the industry to just sort of define that and describe that. But you know, there's still some fuzziness out there. Help yeah. us understand what you guys mean. Well, I mean, at the, in the simplest form, what customers are looking to do is amortize the existing infrastructure they have in the ways that they want to. So if you look at sort of, uh, we had a large uh, global bank, right, uh, which will remain nameless who's got a very, very large, happens to be HP infrastructure that they want to amortize uh, again, uh, against. And they're looking at store virtuals as a way of you know, providing storage to meet their sort of VMware requirements first, but more importantly, to meet the, their entire compute requirements. So as they sort of build out their infrastructure, they want the flexibility that a software-led or a software-defined uh, data center model mm -hmm. uh, would provide them. Okay, yeah. so, um, one of the things that we said, Bill, in, the, in our study was that, we basically said, okay, look, you've got standardized hardware, mm -hmm. some people call it commodity hardware, fine, pick your, pick your poison, and then services on top of that that are software, right, kind of similar right. to what you just described. And that's really not anything new conceptually. I mean, Google's been doing it for a while, right? right? Everybody says, oh, Google doesn't buy storage from HP and EMC and IBM and NetApp, it does its own. Right. And so, well, why wouldn't you, Mr. CIO or Ms. CIO, do your own? Well, because right. we don't have a thousand engineers running around. Okay, fine. So that concept is not new. It's like the enterprise is, is now delivering that. What we think is new is the ability to converge metadata that's mm -hmm. all locked inside all those different platforms. Yeah. And you guys announced something called Express Query. That's right. Which is this ability to really do fast querying on data, mm -hmm. big corpus of data. That's Talk right. about that a little bit, and I'm interested in that use case in particular. Well, as we were talking off, off camera, I said that I was going to answer questions just like the presidential debate, right? Where <laughs> I would answer the question I wanted to answer, yeah. not the one you asked me, right? So, <laughs> so just to go back, Be to, my guess. Go back to, just go back to the point you were on uh, with Google, right? You know, you, you know using, uh, you know, not using uh, bespoke hardware and basically build their own. Google internally, for their own IT, doesn't use their own hardware, right? They use industry standard servers, right? And so part of the answer around why software-defined data center makes sense and why it's new, it's, it's, it's inside the, the firewall and actually a, you know, it's you know, written for enterprise applications. So it's not sort of just write, you know, replicate data in three different, three different ways that Google does it today. It's all about sort of with all the other enterprise protections. So <coughs> that goes back to the Google comment. As far as Express Query goes, <coughs> It's really two concepts locked into one. The first is with this large explosion of, um, of uh, corporate data, it's almost impossible to find it, it's impossible to search it, right? And there's a couple ways that people deploy that in the enterprise. You'll get customers, let's say um, a medical imaging customer, <clears throat> who records all the medical images, right, uh, uh, in a hospital, but then they deploy a database alongside of that to store the information about the patient that's not actually captured in the image. Right? And that's a very, very expensive proposition. So one part of Express Query is a metadata tagging capability that enables our partners and our customers to tag data so they can later search it. 
Okay, so that's point, point number one. And then point number two is, once you have that data tagged, then we provide an algorithm, again, with the technology that we received from HP Labs, to actually quickly search that in a very, very scalable fashion. You heard the numbers that, uh, I think it was David Scott yesterday was talking about, which is hundreds of thousands of times faster. So a, 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 a directory of a, of a half a million objects, we search in a second. So I think I did the math on that. Yeah. And I think I, I figured that if it took you 12 hours to run a job, yeah. you could do it in .4 seconds. I will have to trust yeah. your math on that one. I don't know yeah. if I did it right, but <laughs> it was uh, sort of live. Yeah, when, that's good. When Alistair was on. It, uh, makes, so. it makes good. And he said it was good, and he's a lot smarter than he's I am. He's a lot so. smarter than I am, too, actually. <laughs> so so, said, yeah, so is it right. HP Labs? No, is that autonomy technology? It's, it's actually HP Labs technology that they built that we've now put in the product, and what autonomy has done, what we announced here at the show, is autonomy is actually leveraging that metadata data tagging capability to actually know when files are changed, right? So autonomy goes in and is examined sort of, you know, So the autonomy treats as a data source. Correct, so you know, autonomy basically does two things. One is it rapidly searches data, but it actually searches inside the, inside the object, right, for information about legal discovery or, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So that metadata tagging capability yeah. that you talked about, that's obviously done in an automated way, Correct. Uh, right? So you do that at the point of creation or use of the data. Or the yeah, point of update or, Ingest or what have or you. whatever. Yeah. Okay, so there's not, not humans sitting around doing a lousy no, job. No, no, tagging, no, no, right? no, there's, there's, not, there's yeah, not anybody in the back happen. room. Is it uh, policy based so I can set policy on the tag yes. and all that good stuff? Yeah, and you can do it, obviously the, simple, the simplest of form is, is based on the, the file attribute, right? You know, a photo is a JPEG, right? but it's actually more, more advanced than that. And, and actually, this is all partner capable, right? So what we announced is the, is the technology. The technology is in the store all uh, product, but as well, we've, we have a partner ecosystem that we're building, Autonomy being the first official ISV partner, if you will, that partners can use to extend for their own applications. So you're giving struct, struct, unstructured data some structure? Correct. Okay, cool. So one of the things that's happening in the industry that we are watching closely, because uh, is two things. One, the Hadoop movement around open source. Right. A lot of activity, obviously on the commercial side, you guys have a lot of big data. But the market that's being disrupted right now is the data warehouse and business intelligence market. Yeah. And the one thing that's uh, killing those guys right now is the real time. Low latency, uh, we call fast active data. Right. And that is requirement for mobility, it's a requirement for apps. Yeah. So that's a big issue. So, how does that fit in here? Because the data, you guys have a nice story where storage is storage, the yeah. normal bells and whistles of storage, you got solid state, Dave Tontelli talking about that, all the great stuff, but now you start to get into this data layer. Right. So that's an interesting, you know. So you think you can think about this as the costume on the, on the, on the patient, not the innards of the patient. So the sort of work that, stuff that you're talking about is actually the home of autonomy. Right, so the rapid search of, of knowledge inside of the file or inside of the database. What this is, is all about the patient on the outside. Right, what color clothes is he wearing, what kind of tie, is a blue tie, it's all that stuff on the outside that the, the, the express query technology actually actually provides. And who's the target audience for that, for that, for that I mean, query? As I, as I said, it's, it, could be, uh, it could be the medical imaging provider, it could be uh, a large uh, video production company, right? Uh, if you look at some of the partners that we have in the video production where they're, David Scott used this analogy yesterday, which is we're building a set of objects, we want to tag them, you know, Shrek, right? And then when we want to go back later and actually get all the objects that have, you know, that, that featured Shrek, we can actually do that to actually build the next capability. So it's anybody where you have a large sort of file repository. Right, we've been talking uh, all week about uh, HP's new sort of storage portfolio. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if we could sort of clarify some things. So yeah. essentially, in your press conference, you obviously went after EMC, you put up like 10 different we platforms did. up there. Yeah, I think so. I think that was the company. <laughs> and, uh, and the point being, hey, there's, uh, our competition has all these different platforms. Yeah. We are simplifying, less is, less is more. Right. And say that as my words. Um, and essentially you're saying, we're, go we're going with three platforms, primarily. For primary storage, it's uh, uh, store serve. Mm -hmm. For uh, archiving, it's store all, right. and it's store once for, for backup. Yep. Those are the three primary platforms. That's right. Okay, but you still have, in your portfolio, yep. you said you're responsible for everything but the, what we used to know was 3PAR, I guess it's still branded 3PAR. That's a lot of stuff. Right. That's MSA, EVA, that's, uh, that's yep. the left hand, yep. uh, the XP yep. is in there, so you got, Right? Yeah. That's you too? No, it's not me, it's not, that's okay. not me. So I have store all, store once, uh, store virtual, and store easy. Yeah, okay. so the EVA and XP is not me. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, you still yeah. got a lot of platforms, yeah. right? So, help me understand 
the positioning of that? Is it yeah. you saying that the future is these these three platforms? Uh -huh. or are you saying? So I, th I, mean, I think there's two things. Once for you know, for EVA and XP customers, we're going to continue to support and advance those products, right? If you're very happy with that those portfolios, there's there, those things are not 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 ending. I think the the second thing is, and I think this is what more of what your question is, is that a lot of the cap the products that I'm responsible for actually run our industry standard servers. So if you looked at a store all platform or you looked at a store once platform and you're an HP customer for compute, you would not be able to tell the difference between that platform and any other platform. A good story was that we had a, a very large customer of ours is using store virtual. Um, and they're a uh, all whatever vendor shop, not, not HP for storage. They got that product in because it looked like a ProLiant and it managed like a ProLiant. So, Part of the simplicity is the fact that we're actually leveraging the rest of HP as part of the as part of the, uh, part of the supply chain. I think the third part of your way to answer your question is it's really about going forward technology, scalable architectures, et cetera. If you look at you look at from store virtual to store once to, to store all to store serve, it's all built on this sort of industry standard architecture, which allows you to. Um, uh, the word we've been using is uh, we were laughing. I don't know if we're laughing about this, but polymorphic. Right, what that we really, love it, right, we love polymorphic. Yeah, yeah. Right? What it really <laughs> means is that you, you have an idea today of what you need and tomorrow it changes. How do you get there without ripping up the infrastructure and, and reapplying uh, to new, right? And so the three par stuff we announced with, uh, with store serve, all of it is scalable in that, in that, in that way. So it's, it's simplicity from the way that we deploy the product, the way that we build the product, so it's standard um, components. Standard components. That, so when you talk about converged storage, you're talking about the, the, the standard server. Correct. And, and the, the storage on top of that, the, and then the software. And the networking in that as well, right? Yeah. So if you look at sort of the large, you know, sort of the 9730 store all platform, or you look at the store once platform, it's converged stored, it uh, storage, the... server, and networking in a, in a single frame, right? Right. All right, good. John, I think we're out of time yeah. here. Okay. We're out of time. Bill, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. We really appreciate it. This is HP Discover Live, two day exclusive coverage from siliconangle.com and wikibon.org. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. Thank you.